another gun manufacturer is continuing this balkanization of manufacturers around the country where they are leaving, they're fleeing anti-gun states, heading to the greener pastures of pro-gun states. And we're going to talk about the next one here on this episode of Guns and Gadgets. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate each and every single one of you. And uh, for those who have been around since the beginning, thank you so much. To the new subscribers, I hope that you find this channel worthy of your time. Uh, and let's get into this one. Uh, so just about a month, a little over a month ago, Smith & Wesson officially ended its 170 year history with Springfield, Massachusetts, where they have been since the beginning of time. Um, and they were moving and they are moving to greener pastures in Maryville, Tennessee. In fact, a couple days ago, they broke ground on their new 240 acre site, which will hold their corporate headquarters as well as the factory. And we also had Kimber recently uh, tell everybody that they're closing their Yonkers uh, New York facility and moving down to Alabama, in fact, Troy, Alabama. And uh, they have a new, uh, well, broke ground on a new 225,000 square foot facility where they will continue uh, making firearms in a state that is welcoming to uh, the Second Amendment. Well, now we have another big name to, uh, to move onto that list of balkanized uh, states, and that is Remington. Uh, Remington, well, as we know, Remington was split up, but what is Remington Arms up in Illion, New York, where they've been forever, since forever, um, the announcement came yesterday that Remington Arms is leaving Illion, New York. Uh, we all know New York is very anti-gun. I don't have to go into this. We all know this stuff. Uh, but Remington announced that they are also going to move and they're going to Georgia. They're going to LaGrange, Georgia. And from the accounts of, of the people and the politicians in uh, that Georgia area, uh, Remington has already secured at least one building and their new corporate offices will be operating out of uh, new buildings as well as refurbished facilities, renovated facilities, uh, and they're obviously looking to do this ASAP. I'm going to give you a quote from Kevin D'Arcy, who is the Remington CEO. He said, we are very excited to come to Georgia, a state that not only welcomes business, but enthusiastically supports and welcomes companies in the firearms industry. Now, the, the plan right now is to move the, the corporate headquarters, you know, the, the suits, basically. Um, however, the spokesman for the United Mine Workers of America, which represents some of the workers at the factory in Ilion, uh, they said that the union had no information about whether workers in New York would be affected. Keep in mind that the new ownership recently restarted operations there, and they called back more than 200 workers who had been previously laid off, and we detailed that here on this channel. Now, part of that process was a 10 year tax break from New York for them, for the new ownership. But will they do, I, I, I don't know. It hasn't been really released, but I, I'm thinking they're gonna do like Smith & Wesson did. Smith & Wesson first moved their corporate offices and opened up plants in other spots. And then they said, you know what? Time's right, let's go. And I think that's what's gonna happen here in Remington as well. But as of right now, the workers have no information. Um, I'm guessing that's gonna be coming shortly. And, uh, let me know what you think. This is another major manufacturer who's been around for a very long time who is moving hundreds of jobs out of an area which is going to affect that direct directly affect that area in that community and move their manufacturing which creates a ton of money uh, for the community as well as those anti-gun uh, you know legislatures who can't stand the gun manufacturers, but love to take their tax revenue. What I can say is I know what the loss of the revenue from Smith & Wesson will do to this state. Uh, the, the commie wealth of Massachusetts is going to pay dearly. It's going to really affect, you know, the budget. Uh, and, and they don't seem to care, those people on in Beacon Hill in Boston. They just don't want it. They want to say that, you know, we don't have any that that mean manufacturer of evil things here anymore, and we're so woke that we just went broke. And I know it's going to affect New York as well. Um, so to the people there who may or may not be able to make the move and retain employment, my hat is off to you, and hopefully things get settled so that you have an answer. Um, but uh, let me know what you guys and gals think down below. Uh, is this a good thing where we're seeing gun manufacturers move to 
pro-gun areas, or you see it as a bad thing because the loss of revenue and, and jobs will definitely affect those areas. I'd love to see your thoughts down below. Thank you for your time. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to this channel. This is where you're going to find news on the Second Amendment, no matter where it happens, good, bad, ugly, or indifferent. And uh, I bring it to you every single day. 99% of the time. Uh, I appreciate each and every single one of you until we see each other again. Be safe, stay vigilant, carry a gun to keep you, yourself, your family, and your community safe. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care.